sometimes people have uh, pretty big misconceptions about what genuine Jesus faith, Christian faith, is all about. Uh, and sometimes as Christians we contribute to that. People think the Christian faith is negative and miserable and it, we're against everything, really. We don't like this and we don't like that and if it's got anything to do with sex, we're completely opposed to it and so on. Now, these are caricatures of what Christians think, um, but our reputation is sometimes quite negative. Uh, and that follows through, actually, for some of us uh, in the way we express our Christian faith. Always a bit concerned about something and uh, it's easy for us to become negative in church life too it's not quite what we want in church life it's uh, something you know we would choose it a bit different something to do with the sermon something to do with the worship something to do with the building we can always find things to complain about now that's interesting because at its heart the christian message is about an encounter with one of the most attractive personalities in the history of the world. Uh, of course we believe that he was a fully fledged human being and God in the flesh, Jesus Christ. Uh, but uh, we have somehow uh, turned this amazing contact with Jesus uh, into a kind of uh, routine, dull, religious experience which is, is full of rules and regulations when uh, Jesus intended something quite different. Uh, in John's Gospel, Jesus tells lots of stories, but particularly stories about sheep, big favourite of his given uh, the agricultural life of first century Israel, uh, and uh, often talks about sheep and sheepfold and the sheep following him and the sheep knowing his voice and so on. And then in John chapter 10, verse 10, this little phrase and verse appears, which I think is often forgotten and yet wonderfully encapsulates uh, what the Jesus life is all about. Jesus said, I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. That's why I came, so that they could have genuine, full, complete life, uh, uh, and that it wouldn't be this mealy-mouthed, miserable existence, but there would be a fullness about it, a flourishing about it, a, a generous, open-handed, overflowing sense of what it was about. It's so easy for us to get tied up in things that we don't like, uh, for all of us. We don't like lockdown, we don't like the way the government's dealing with it. Um, I've expressed strong feelings in the course of these vlogs uh, about some of these things. And it's perfectly right, of course, to have strong feelings, and sometimes those have to be critical or negative. Uh, but we have to watch it in our souls, because most of us have a tendency to default to negative things. Uh, and of course, that's what's characteristics of, of Satan's kingdom, this negative, destructive thing. He, he's a person who wants to spoil goodness, to turn health into sickness, to turn joy into sadness. Uh, the devil loves it when all those things happen. But we're not part of that. We're part of God's positive kingdom. We're part of expressing the Jesus life, being filled with him uh, and living life to the full. Uh, and that seems a very odd thing for me to emphasise this morning, given the containment and the oddness and the restrictions around most of our lives right now. Uh, and yet, what we know is, when we're filled full of this Jesus life, as Jesus intended, when the wrong things have been genuinely forgiven and we've turned our back on them, turned away from the past and turned towards the future with Jesus, we know that when that happens, an inner light switches on, an inner power becomes possible, an inner joy radiates that comes from him out through us to others. And that fullness of life can happen even if we're stuck in our own home, even if you're watching this on your own and you haven't been out for ages. You're not therefore robbed of an opportunity to have this abundant life. And so I pray that today, whether you're stuck at home or whether you're outside, uh, whatever the situation, fed up with lockdown or, or quite enjoying uh, the peace and the time with the family and some of the other good things that this containment has brought, wherever you are on that spectrum of uh, thinking today, may you know the truth that Jesus came to set you free, free from sin and free from guilt 
and free from looking back and the chains which so easily bind us from the damage caused to us by others and, and the horrible things that may have occurred, the sad things, and looking forward to receive his abundant life today, to know that joy, to know John chapter 10 verse 10 to be true in our lives, that when he came, he came to bring life. And not just life, life in all its fullness, life in all its abundance, life in all its flourishing. May that be your experience and mine today.